Okay, we are in our final moments here. Um, I want to stop for a second and play the closing statements from both of the candidates tonight. Um, so take a listen to how Ted Cruz and uh, Colin Allred finished up the night. And then when we come back, we will share our closing thoughts. So don't forget everybody at the top of the hour uh, at 10 o'clock, we're going to go live to our WFAA 10 p.m. news broadcast. And then we will be replaying for you the Texas debate. So take a listen to closing arguments. It feels like the time has flown here in the studio tonight. I, I, I hope our viewers have gotten some, something out of this, but it's now time to make your final pitch to voters for your closing statements. Congressman Allred, you won the coin toss tonight. You chose to go first. Sure. You get 60 seconds, sir. Sure. Well, I want to thank you all for moderating. You did an excellent job. I want to thank Senator Cruz for a spirited debate. Listen, we're all Texans. Uh, my idol, John Lewis, used to say that we might have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. We're all Americans and we're all Texans. We need a leader who will bring us together around our shared values. That's what I've tried to do in my six years in Congress. That's the exact opposite of what Senator Cruz has done. Whatever he says tonight, you, you've seen it for 12 years. He's been one of the most divisive senators in the entire country. If you don't like how things are going in Washington right now, well, you know what? It's, he is singularly responsible for it. He has introduced this new kind of angertainment where you just get people upset and then you podcast about it and you write a book about it and you make some money on it. But you're not actually there when people need you. Like when the lights went out, when 30 million Texans were relying on a senator to spring into action, he went to Cancun. That's who he is. If you give me the chance to be your United States Senator, I'll never abandon you. And I'm asking for your vote and for your support in this election. Congressman, thank you. Senator Cruz, you get the final word tonight. You have 60 seconds. The stakes in this election are the highest of my lifetime. Congressman Allred and Kamala Harris are both running on the same radical agenda. Congressman Allred has pledged to be the 50th vote for Chuck Schumer to end the filibuster, to end the requirement of 60 votes to pass major legislation. That means if Congressman Allred is elected, we will see the Democrats, number one, strike down every voter integrity law in the country, number two, add D.C. and Puerto Rico as states to give them four new Democrat senators. Number three, grant immediate voting rights to every illegal alien in America. That would turn Texas blue and every statewide elected official in Texas would be defeated in the next election. And number four, pack the U.S. Supreme Court. That would jeopardize our fundamental rights. I've spent 12 years fighting every single day to defend jobs and freedom and security. Congressman Allred wants to destroy what we've got in Texas because he shares Nancy Pelosi and Kamala Harris's value. Senator, I will fight to keep Texas, Texas. Senator, that is your time tonight. All right, those were the final thoughts. That's how they left it. That's how both of them left it tonight. Uh, we have just a few more minutes. So I'm gonna give each of you time to sort of give your closing thoughts on, on what you thought about the evening uh, from the candidate's perspective. Katie, we'll start with you. What is the, the, the biggest takeaway that you hope that voters and viewers will remember about tonight? Well, I hope they will remember the way the debate was run and the fact that uh, there was a lot of information mm -hmm. that was, mm -hmm. this was an hour and they mm -hmm. got a lot of information out there. I hope they will remember that Ted Cruz did his usual bombastic fire hose of information uh, and that Colin Allred stood his ground and not only stood his ground, but in many instances gave as good as he got. Mm. I mean, he was feeding it back to, and in fact, I think um, unsettled Trump a couple of times. I mean, when he Trump. said, uh, I mean, Cruz. not Trump, <laughs> Cruz, you can see I'm getting tired. <laughs> he unsettled Cruz. Yeah. I mean, that whole January 6th thing yeah. where he said, you are a threat to democracy. I think that actually struck home. Bud? I think people should remember, and this will surprise a lot of people on both sides. I think people should remember that Colin Allred is a better debater than Beto O'Rourke. Mm. Colin Allred brought fire with almost every answer and Ted Cruz responded with fire. Ted Cruz's debate against Beto O'Rourke was really strong. He had incredible content. He had, uh, he had all the fire and energy he had tonight, but O'Rourke was not as strong in his responses. Colin Allred brought a lot more fervor and for all the adoration of Beto O'Rourke, Colin Allred may be a better state candidate. That's and he was not demure. <laughs> 
I don't think anybody was demure tonight. <laughs> I don't think, in, including in, any of us. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for being with us. This was a this was a long night. It, it was an exciting night. Uh, as I said when we were going into this, I, I would argue that this was the biggest night in Texas politics in 2024, and it was an honor to be a part of it with you guys. And I'm just really glad uh, that tens of thousands of people have been watching our YouTube stream and and many, many, many more out there on WFAA Plus. And I hope they feel as if they're going away from it, just more informed um, about these candidates and more informed about what it means to go vote three weeks from tonight. So Katie, right. Sherrod, Bud Kennedy, I can't thank you enough. It's It's been a pleasure to be up here with you. So Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's was, been fun. It fun. It's been you fun. You were up here longer than we were. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's been a long it's been a long day, but but again, it, it's important it's to be night a part now. of it. So <laughs> yeah, it's true. Very very late into the night. So okay, uh, in about thirty seconds, we are going to go to WFA's ten p.m. news broadcast, and don't forget, then we will have uh, the debate being replayed throughout uh, throughout the evening on WFA Plus. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Uh, remember, make a plan, go vote. Uh, it is it is three weeks from tonight. It is clear, critically important. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Teresa Woodard. It's been great fun to be with you.